All right, it is 6.50 Sunday morning. We're on uh, the parking lot on D Street in South Boston, and uh, we got to get out of here by 7 because uh, otherwise they charge you another 20 bucks, right? 20 bucks. Yeah, so uh, we got to go. We're going to beat the clock. 6.51 right now. This machine says 6.59. What? It says 6.59 on this machine. Let's see. Is that a credit card reader? Oh, it's right here. I already tried that one. This one cannot be used. Use a different card. Just leave it in there, maybe? It wants to fare this way. No, we hit the button. I, I, I had the same issue. I called the front desk for my cell phone, so the phone was answering, and then they rang with somebody to do it. They lifted the gate up then, or did they? Yeah, they, the front desk was on the phone, and they maybe called someone in the building to get them to do it. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. And see you. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, hi, the gate to the parking lot is uh, not working. The card reader is not accepting payment. Okay, uh, are you a hotel guest? No, okay. no. Okay, um, so what I can do is take some of your information down. They'll send you a bill in the mail, and then I can let you out. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. All right, just give me a second to fill up the form. All right, thank you. It was a little tougher than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, apparently people just busted down the gate and just took off. So. That's what that guy told you on the street? Yeah, so to save $25, that's ridiculous. Somebody broke a gate? I mean, that's like thousands well, of dollars. Well, I think it was because the it wasn't working. Uh, there's parking on the street right here. I don't know if you just want to park right there for a second, just so we can collect our thoughts. So parking on... Sundays on the meters is all free in Boston. So we just moved from our spot, uh, the D, or the parking lot on D Street, uh, just across the street to the meter where it's free on Sunday. And somebody just knocked on our van door. And uh, what did he say? He said, hey, if you need somewhere to park, go to 495 Memorial, or Shea Memorial something. And he described this I don't even know how to re-describe it. It was like an airfield, he said. Um, but, I mean, to have a local knock on our door, come up and say, hey, do you want a great place to go park and have a you know spot to chill in your van? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's super nice. Just He's just strolling on a Sunday morning and knocked on our door. Yeah, and we had trouble getting out of the lot um, just because the gate wasn't working and uh, the card reader wasn't accepting payment and we had two guys stop and talk so yeah uh, I just wanted to quickly say Boston friendly so far very friendly very nice people love it we fit right in <laughs> yeah yeah and we're starting to find out that these parking lots in the downtown city areas are perfect for overnight you pay for it it's around 20 25 dollars yeah, and awesome. uh, as long as you have a single space RV, like a, you were on the 22, 23 foot Sprinter, anything bigger would be pretty tough, but uh, the Promasters and the Hymer Actives and all those would be able to fit in these just perfect, so. As long as you can find a good spot to back into with low curb clearance. And they have tons of that at this one. Yeah. So many options. They do warn though, if you're oversized, they'll tow you. Um, but we saw plenty of vehicles that are parking everywhere in these lots, but super safe. Uh, this one felt really comfortable. I loved this one. I think it was our best one. Yeah, it was a great neighborhood. South Boston, this whole Boston area has been really, really great. So, we gotta get going. To the streets. See ya.
five stops in to the Freedom Trail. There's 16 stops on that trail and we- Maybe made, more than five. No, <laughs> I think we made it like Six. a third Six. of the way. <laughs> Honestly, like it was good, but it just got a little bit too crowded with tourists and it just wasn't for us. So we dipped out. So we're moving on. We got a rest. We got a lot of water in and now we're going to keep walking. It was a little way to break up our day because it's like 83 degrees out here. So we're blindly exploring, which is the most fun way to go explore. Yep. Here's Fennial Hall. We finally made it. We didn't even know it was on the agenda and here we are. Here we are. I hope that it's like, I, I expect to see like a Pike's Place Market or uh, I can't think of any other examples like in, like in Paris we saw a lot of like inner, inside markets where it's like a produce farmer's market but on steroids. I'm hoping that's what it's like. I have no idea what to expect in there. We'll find out. Oh yeah. Yeah, it uh, definitely seems a little bit more happening on the, on the outside. That was like a warehouse building on the outside. Yeah. You go through a little tunnel and ba boom. <laughs> Oh, there's Wagamama. Wag so we're looking for this. Oh, yeah. No time for about to happen. This is fun. This reminds me of uh, Savannah. Savannah. I don't remember what that was called there. That's where that bird's cookie was up in yep. that area? Yeah, it was just like a commons area. It's just a bunch of shops and common area in the middle and always a little oh, bit of right there. live entertainment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aaron has a soft spot for beignets. I've previously found him passed out in corners with like powder sugar <laughs> everywhere all over him. Wrappers from Hell to Breakfast, it's bad. That's probably not true, but could be. There's always some truth in every story. Mm, this is great. This is great. We think we're gonna get some ramen noodles at Wagamama. This is be good.
couple of hours in Fennel Hall. We stopped at Wagamama Ramen. We were jonesing for some ramen, so we came in and then unexpectedly we got the best uh, theater performance, street theater performance from two different performers. One was like a break dancer and the second was a quirky juggler. But to take that opportunity, not only do you get a great meal, but you get the chance to watch a show and feel like you're getting a performance and take in what Boston has to offer right at Fennel Hall. So check it out. If you're here, it's definitely worth a stop. Well, we made it back to the van, day number two in Boston. We walked almost nine miles today, and I think yesterday was close to 10. So, almost pumping out 20 miles in Boston. And I feel like I ran a marathon. Yeah. I'm wiped out. On foot, um, but that's a great way to see cities, and that's how we love to do it. So we park our van right downtown. We found that great spot last night in uh, the parking spot on D. Now we're on a metered spot on Sunday, which is free all day long. We're and literally like 50 feet from our parking spot. Yeah, our previous spot is right across the street. I don't know if you can see it, but we're super close. Um, we liked it. I don't know, it was good. It was great. We'll be back. For sure, Boston was interesting town it was super unique being on the harbor like that and covered by water around different sides and having South Boston and the North End and um, just bridges and buildings and it's old and man it was just full of like energy and people and it was great what a great big city yeah definitely one of our top five yeah, it's number two for me. <laughs> um, but otherwise, what else? Anything? What do we want to recap on? We didn't see Fenway Park. Nope. So that's for next time. We'll be back. And that's one of the things we have to see next time. <laughs> I never reckon I hurt nobody. <laughs> Start walking. <laughs> Bye, bye. Oh, yeah. 
got AC up in there? Yeah. <laughs> it's not right now. It's hot as hell in there. We just opened it up. It's hotter in there than Really? It's a, it's a hot tech. It's hard to eat. I'm going to exaggerate. Now we know what y'all are. Another long day, and we're not quite ready to go home. It's a thousand degrees in there. It's a thousand million degrees plus one. <laughs> so we're gonna walk that way. We haven't actually walked that way yet. I see some apartments. I don't know. There might be a steak and shake or something up there. <laughs> yeah, probably a steak and shake. Probably a steak and shake. Maybe a Chipotle, which, side note, we haven't had Chipotle for six months. That's true. <laughs> what? That's a shame. Shame. So we're going to go into Residenceville up there and see what we find. <laughs> 